Hey, Natalie. Thanks so much for kicking things off. That is not always the easiest thing to do. So I certainly appreciate that. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to address your writing first. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, same colors. Yeah, first of all, nice job. Nice job. I, I have a few comments, but I think the layout's beautiful and if the uh, continuation from the front and the back is also quite nice. I think you're doing a great job here. Let's go ahead and go through some of your comments. Um, same type of with the exception of upper adder for the dates. I needed an open typeface for old style numerals. Good idea. Um, and, and plus it looks great. Good job. Um, I thought it looked nice with the American typewriter. Um, one thing about the layout, I did stick with the grid and work with the alignment. Excellent. I also work with the body out of text and rags quite a bit. Could still use some help. I agree. The rags still need further adjustment. I wanted the layout to reflect how Marie was described. Uh, this is a great idea. Great idea to print the work, print your work. And those of you who are watching along here, just a, such a good idea. Reduce the size of your work and print it so you can get the, an idea of what the spatial relationships look like in print. Quite often, the screen is very, very deceiving where type looks a lot bigger in print than it does on screen. I always recommend you to you, you print out your work if you have a chance. Just do yourselves a favor and put your printer on quick draft so you don't suck up all your ink. Um, so the time, I'm a little concerned about the timeline. I'm not really seeing a much of a transition, uh, translation here between the front to the back. I think right now the timeline can, can be considered to be um, kind of a, a question mark. And I don't think it has any obvious conceptual ties. And I'm going to recommend that we, we maybe think about working on the timeline. Let's go back. Uh, I, I'm not seeing a cross between radiation molecule and radiation warning signs. I'm just not. I, I, you know, it's just not there. Um, let me know what you think. Okay, let's go ahead and jump on the front. Front's gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful. Nice work. Love it. Just love it. Really nice work. Let's go ahead and jump to the back. I think the 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 the, the way that uh, you 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 borrowed the colors and it, it's just beautiful. It really is nice work. Good good color continuation. Excellent. Okay, um, I'm so glad you decided to use a different color for the background. I think that adds variety and interest as well. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, and I'm going to go through. So I'm going to I'm going to throw a lot at you here in the next couple of minutes. So. You might have to look at this video a couple of times. Well, let's go through the type. Okay, um, old style numerals or reduce by uh, 20% or so, 20 to 30% or so. We want that to, to, to look more in line with the type. I'm talking about these numbers. Uh, one space after a, a comma. Watch your regs. Regs really need to be adjusted. If you go into the announcements, uh, there is a video in there about how to adjust your regs. You definitely want to take a look at that. Uh, again, old style or reduce. Same. 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 All the, all the numbers are just full fall into that same. Okay, other than that, looks good. Nice drop cap. Watch your regs. Got to adjust those regs. I think your gutters are too wide. Um, my recommendation is to, uh, you know, you've got your margin established. Um, I think you can increase this margin here a little bit. I want to reduce the size of these gutters by bringing these closer together, which means you can add a little bit of space between the image and the first paragraph and also the right margin and the last paragraph. I want to reduce those gutters is what I'm getting at. Okay, back to the... I don't know what this is, MME. I'm not sure what that is. It's just a MME with a period, a cap MME with a period. I don't, I don't know what that is. Uh, World War One. Um, you could, uh, you consider italic italicizing that. Old style or reduce. Same. Uh, typically, laboratory in her native city in 1929. Okay, that should be an M dash, E M. M, M. Um, M, as in Mr., not an N dash. I'm not real sure. It's hard. It's difficult to tell right now. Just make sure that's an M dash. A lot of numbers here. You got it. Just a great chance here to use. Um, the importance of M, M, E. Here's that M, M, E again. 
Here's the importance of MME again. I, I'm not real sure what the heck that is. Did I miss something? I don't know. Maybe you can do, yeah, let me know what that is. Um, okay. Yep. Oh, other than that, we're looking pretty good. So mainly I'm seeing uh, reduced size of the gutters. Watch your numerals, old style, or reduce the size. Watch your use of dashes, MN and, and uh, hyphen. Uh, and definitely got to got to adjust those regs. Absolutely got to adjust those regs. Um, as far as the timeline goes, I think the timeline's pretty good. I think right now you're really crunching up against the the timeline itself with your type. I would give this a little bit of space here. Um, maybe remove the or or, or bring these on just a way just a little bit so they're not encroaching right on the timeline. Now the timeline itself, I'm just not seeing a conceptual tie. I'm wondering if there's anything we can borrow from the front of the poster to transpose to the back of the poster. Hmm, can we make a timeline from something in here? Because it would be best for there to be a solid uh, continuation from the front to the back. So think about that. Um, if you can at all avoid, um, where it works with red, try to avoid, these are widows basically. Technically, they are. They're words on one line alone, and you, it's something you want to avoid in typography. Um, so see if you can reconfigure these to avoid having words on a line, uh, words residing on a line alone. Okay. All right. Other than that, I think we're looking fantastic. Nice work. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. Thank you very much.